floor Started blocking some paper My mind turned to paper A crazy Amazon Slamming on my cardboard A guitar Slamming on the cardboard So all the talk of tone you know, coming from the wood, coming from pickups, coming from the fingers, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty funny to find this video online, as I did recently, of Billy Gibbons and Matt Soren playing instruments made out of cardboard. Um, you know, it sounds pretty great, sort of one tone. They didn't go through, they didn't demo it, but still, it's, uh, it's a great concept nonetheless. Uh, we're in standard tuning key of A. We're going to talk about tone on this guy, and then we're going to look at the main riff. So obviously, I don't have a cardboard guitar, but I've got a Strat bridge pickup single coil. Um, I grabbed a Megatone profile on the Kemper, I think from Tone Junkie. Um, put some reverb, post stack and pre stack I added. I think an OC pedal um, gives us kind of a nice thick, I mean, it's 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 bridge pickup, but it's not super bright. So you get to kind of a... Um <laughs> Really nice, nice sound there. Okay, let's start with the main riff. A minor pentatonic is your friend on this one. You're thinking sort of box shape five and one. It's it's in those on the uh, the bottom few strings. So. <laughs> Those shapes are what you're going to be using. Tab is down below if you're interested. If you do pick it up, thank you very much. Helps the channel. All right, so we're doing this. Okay. Uh, all alternate picking there. Immediate slide, five up to seven. Slide from seven down to five and then pull off. Okay, again, tab down below, I'll move uh, quicker through it. I'm assuming you're looking at that or slowing this down. The end is really cool when they do. So he hits the um, A to G, but then goes down to that F sharp, brings in that Dorian sound. Great sound there. Okay, let's look at the verse. The verse is kind of two parts, part one and, and part two. The first part, uh, he's probably using his thumb. He's a real thumb player. For me, because it's in A, you can leverage the open string, so I'll use that. But if you wanted to shift keys, you know, you've got to use your thumb. But you can do either. So what are we talking about? <laughs> Again, I'm using open string, you can use your thumb. Just a bit different, I'm not, uh, my hands aren't big, so I don't use thumb uh, a lot of the time. Okay, so it's basically outlining A minor seven there. So you've got a G and C on the fifth fret of the D and G strings. Just those two notes. Uh, toggling that open A. So down, 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 and then up, down. You could do it all down if you want. But I would say Billy's doing uh, down up. Okay, and then coming out of that, kind of a really slow down there on the album. It almost sounds like it slides down lower. So maybe they did some funny tuning things there. Um, uh, and then he goes sort of into the chorus, which is the main riff. Okay, second part of the verse. just really going up uh, what you would normally play shuffle. That kind of thing. But it's just kind of a, a eight. But bring that up stroke in there when you go up to the G and come back down again, tabs below. Um, and that's kind of the song. The solo section is a little bit different. It doesn't follow 
a standard 12 bar blues chord progression. It's still 12 bars, um, but it's one chord one to chord four, back to chord one. Uh, where it would go to the five, it goes back to chord four and then a sort of a flat three. Okay, and the, the, um, the riffs are all the same. So there's a three finger power chord and then lifting those off. Do the same on the D, the same on the C. And that's it, gone quickly through that. Again, Taz Blow, uh, cutting a paper from Billy Gibbons and Matt Sorum. See you next time.